Texas. This here is a good program if you want to learn the basics of you know how to break a beef down, break a pork cart down the land. Do we double on it? Yeah. Trent called me up last fall and he was telling me about this trailer. And he said, well, I wish I'd have paid more attention to you and Grandpa when I was growing up. He said, that way I, I wouldn't have to ask you this question. And I said, what's that? He said, would you mind teaching a class on that? And I said, if you want me to teach this, I want them to see what the carcass looks like first. How you determine the quality of it, or how the quality is determined of it, and where those wholesale cuts are at, not only through a video, but through an actual carcass. And I think then they'll be more prepared if they get a job, say, in a processing plant, where they're killed there at the plant, and they roll them in on a rover, and they're hanging there, where do I start? I said, they'll have a better knowledge, which makes them more valuable to somebody when you hire them. My dad told us, he said, you don't stop learning until the day you die. And he said, if you ever get to the point you don't need to learn anything, you're already dead. Dad only had a fourth grade education, but he'd been working in the packing house since he was about 12. He just always told us, boys, you need to get an education, but I want you to learn how to do this. At the time I was senior in high school, I was a semi skilled butcher. And he said, I can tell you one thing, in the meat business, you'll always be around something to eat. So if times get tough, you'll at least have something to eat. <laughs> <That's the way. laughs>